Hello, my name is Dan Potter, Applications Engineer with Go Engineer. Today I'm going to show you how the power of 3D allows you to assemble your designs with ease. Components are held together in assembly with mates to constrain them. As here we have this plate, we want to constrain it to this mount. So we're going to hit our mate command. We're going to select the two entities we want mated together, and it gives us a concentric mate. We're going to do this again for the next hole. Now we have two concentric mates. We're going to take the back of this plate, like so. Another way to apply a mate is using smart mates. I can double click on a face, click on the next face, and it applies a mate. The same thing can be achieved by selecting the Alt key in your next face. Or another way is to just simply click on two entities. I'm going to click on this edge, control, click on the next edge, and select my mate. While you are in the mate command, you can simply apply many mates just by clicking on the different faces. So here we got a concentric mate, another concentric mate. While you are applying a mate, you can rotate your model around. If you notice, when you add a concentric mate, it has a checkbox for a lock rotation. This allows you to not have to add a separate mate to lock down your component. Check the box here, and it locks our rotation. We can go at our last mate. See how easy it is to apply these mates to your parts and assemblies in SOLIDWORKS? Thank you for watching this quick tip by Go Engineer.